Hey, Vinny. Yeah, Cardiff? Do you want to go subreddit surfing? I want to want to go subreddit surfing. Grab your phone, let's go subreddit surfing. Because I want to go subreddit surfing with you. We talk to folks from different subreddits because sometimes we just don't get it. We explore all kinds of subreddits. Subscribe now or you will regret it. Do you want to go subreddit surfing? I want to want to go subreddit surfing. Grab your phone, let's go subreddit surfing. Because I want to go subreddit surfing with you. Vinny and Cardiff go subreddit surfing. Mondays at 8, we are subreddit surfing. 10 is too late for subreddit surfing. So be here now for subreddit surfing today. Aloha. Good morning, subreddit surfers. Welcome to another brand new episode. Uh, Aloha, big kahunas. And let's all say hello to my best spud, Cardiff Electric. Good morning, morning, Vinny. Good good Saturday Memorial morning. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Can we stop doing Saturday mornings now, please? Yes, if you can, if you can stop eating way too much pizza on a Wednesday night, I can stop doing Saturday mornings. Well, you know I can't, and that's not the problem. Oh yes, no, that was it. wasn't It was, this wasn't a pizza related time issue this time. So okay, yes, dildo diff is very upset with us for doing another Saturday morning. So we will be back uh, next Wednesday. Uh, that's our forty percent guarantee. Forty percent chances we will be doing a show Wednesday night at eight o'clock right here. Yes. Now, before we get into our topic today to introduce our guest, I need to give a big shout out to all of our big kahunas out there. Let's give it up for Grim Fuse, uh, The Cut of the Jib, Cl- King Glizzy, Bjorn Cray, Dr. Steve, Sean, Jeff Hutchinson, Wiggles, Zero, Tiberius. Tiberius, I got your email. You're a great guy and we'll definitely talk. Hunter Duke, Steve, Fred Rush, MD, Christina Marie, Arcona, Brinkamania, CMOS, 4044. For corn diff and kinky loco the coolest biggest dicks on the internet right there <clears throat> all of them got an extra mm-hmm. inch thanks to subreddit surfing every so month thank you for supporting the channel you guys mm-hmm. are fantastic Absolutely. cardiff i think before we announce our subreddit for today we should do mm-hmm. a trucker andy roll call trucker andy roll call jt in the stream uh, for the last seven and a half hours he's been waiting for this stream to start so thank you jt for being First one in, uh, Dildo Diff is here. Steve is here. Deepak Feinberg is here. Steve Zachariah Radsowitz, Noob Tubes, uh, Dirty Da Butt Diff, another Diff. Uh, Dime Card is here. Big Kahuna Kinky Loco is here. Steve is here. Big Kahuna Grim Fuse is here. John Sonza Tran is here. Big Kahuna Wiggles is here. I had to explain that one to, to Carl on his stream yesterday. I made him, oh. I made him really read that one out. Carl figured didn't figure that one out? No, it took him a while. Uh, uh, Big Kahuna Wiggles. Big Kahuna Tiberius is here. So many Big Kahunas. Big Kahuna Arcona is here. These are the greatest. The greatest. Captain Kickass is here. Stone Man 623. My pal is here. Uh, Obnoxious John. Hello, OJ. How are you? Richard okay. Porter is here. Our word is here. Zero. Big Kahuna Zero. Here. Squirrel Watcher. Here. Uh, Bjorn Cray. Big Kahuna Bjorn Cray is here. Dutch Haynes is here. Uh, he wrote "Surf is up, Cardiff." I I read that as "Shut up, Cardiff." So we almost had a we almost had a moment. But thank you, Dutch yeah, Haynes. Don't, don't get the potato all round up. Yeah, yeah it's too early. Too early. Craig is here. Dime card. I think I said Woody from Syracuse is here. Rachel Lee ninety two is here. Our pal Sean with the first super chat is here. Thank you for the two dollars, Sean. Aloha, Big Kahuna's. Good morning. Everybody, unless you're in Europe, then good evening. Now, folks, we thank you so much for tuning in. There's lots of great ways to support the show. We appreciate you just hitting hitting subscribe, liking the video, and also, you know, make sure you turn on your notifications. We've had some weird start times, and we know you don't want to miss an episode. And, of course, you can become a big kahuna by supporting the channel and becoming a member. When you do, you get to use some pretty dope emojis. And uh, we are only a, I believe, a few big kahunas away from being able to throw a couple more in there, give you a couple more fun ones. And uh, we're going to give you that wonderful wallpaper that Cardiff has mm-hmm. behind mm-hmm. him. We're going to send that to you so you could have it for your very own computer. Won't that be fun? Yes, yeah, so all your for all your Zoom meetings. 
It's exactly what you need for any type of professional setting. People will think you're completely insane, but a lot of fun. Job now, interviews. Mm -hmm. They're good for job interviews. Mm -hmm. People will know you have taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Cardiff, you picked today's subreddit, yeah? Uh, Did I? Yeah. Okay, yes, I did. Okay, want to tell everybody what we're doing? Well, we figured it's... We probably should have tied Memorial Day into this, shouldn't we have? Let's no, change the subreddit now. Let's go back. Let's find something new live on the air. No. Tell the people uh, what you've done. True off my chest. Uh, subreddit for a place for people who need to speak their mind. So, you know, something you need to say, something you want to say, something you want to admit, a confessional. Uh, this is the place to dump all your uh, emotional baggage. Now, nothing says emotional baggage on a Saturday morning like an emotionally damaged co-host. And I think we have the perfect guest host for today's show to join us on a Saturday morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stream. It's Tukey. Hi, Whoa! Dookie. How are you, Dookie? Whoa! Why is my mic not working? Because no, you're because you're a piece of shit. Oh, but... I pressed the wrong button. Whoa! Thank you for having me. Sorry We're for so... the technical difficulty. You are wonderful. We're so glad to have you here. I know it is very early in the morning, wherever it is you're from, but uh, we figured we'd lighten up a Saturday morning and a pretty heavy subreddit. These people are not real happy with life. No, no they have all had mastectomies. But a lot of what? them have had mastectomies. Yeah. Oh right. no, no, it's not that kind of true off my chest. No, no, no. And as I oh. said, as I said in my tweet, no Vinnie Bra jokes today. That is yes. banned. You will be blocked. You will be blocked from the chat for four seconds if you say anything about Vinny wearing a bra. I Don't test me, people. No Vinny bra jokes, okay? All right. There's plenty of other ones. Here's a John Sunsatran. Gave us $4.99. Said the show is hosted by one of the funniest comedians in the business today. And there's also Vinny. Congratulations, Vinny. You got mentioned. Wow. You got a mention. Congratulations. I know that's all you've ever wanted. Was a mention. Cardiff, you 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 get paid more than me to do comedy, pal. Yes. Smash that like button, everybody. Like, subscribe. And uh, uh, our pal Dookie over here will be doing a stream no, uh, this cool. morning as well. So if you're on the internet uh, right now, which I think you might be, uh, go visit uh, Dookie's channel afterwards. Yes. yes. And I only have 52 minutes, so clock is running. Okay, okay, okay. Oh but obviously, God. don't leave our show while it's still on. Uh, no, but afterwards, so watch subreddit surfing. Take a massive dump. Go have some breakfast. No. Uh, maybe go for a walk, <clears throat> and then uh, you actually just watch the replay. Don't watch Dookie live. It's it's not worth it. No, it's not worth your time. Dookie stinks. It is Tookie. Who? Tookie. Haka haka. All right, haka. kids. Haka haka. <clears throat> All right, true off my chest, Vinny. True off my Start chest. Up, this is this was your choice. You have pitched this subreddit to I me did. multiple times. I did. And today you said this is the day we're going to do it. So let's talk about what this stream is, shall we? Yeah. According to its description, it is a place where you can confess things. Just, That's it. Just get something off your chest. Not for there opinions, are. not for relationship advice, not for preaching. So just, Correct. again, emotional baggage that needs to be unloaded on the internet. Now, there's 9,000, well, just under 10,000 members here. There's 27 people on this page right now surfing it Wait, live. What? What? True off my chest? Yeah. How many there's, people do you say? There's 2 million members. Mm -hmm. oh, and five thousand three hundred online right now. Weird. I think you. I think you are on the bra one, Vinny. Oh, are you on truth off my chest? I might be on truth off. I was on true off my. Um, I was on true off my truth off my chest, not true on my chest. I love. There's I love these. Movies. I love the guy that got so pissed off, or probably got kicked off. True off my chest. That he had to go and start truth off my chest. Like these guys aren't these guys over there at true off my chest aren't doing it properly, or they or they piss me off. I'll sh I'll show them. I'll show I feel them. I feel tricked and I feel duped. And you know, this is like how 
this is how uh, Dabblers Anonymous started, right? Somebody got mad at one page and one started mm-hmm. another one. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is also this is also that's also how WATP has made his name. Uh, you know, by by titling every episode by the over the podcast that he reviews, so he gets those clicks. He's a sneaky bastard. Sneaky bastard. Oh, did you guys know that he used to work in marketing? Uh, no, never heard that. Yeah, 2 million members, 6,000 online. You are correct. A place to get personal things off your chest, not for opinions, not for relationship advice, and not for preaching. Yes, this is one of the top 1% subreddits on the internet today. Now, Cardiff, you picked it. Why don't you lead off it? Sure. Let's start with a a light one. How about that? My uncle committed suicide so I can go to college. What? What? He, Whoa! He, yeah, he raised me ever since my parents lost custody of me and went to prison. So both his parents went to prison, like it was okay. a duel. So they were working together. Uh, I knew he had cancer, but didn't know how he'd do this until I went home one day and found him in his chair, gun in his hand, blood pouring out of his temple. Oh, he, good morning, everybody. What a uh, nice uncle. He left a letter telling me he planned this for some time now. And that he had enough money for me to go to college, but that if he underwent treatment, he wouldn't have enough money left. Before he killed himself, we talked about my future, and I told him that I'll do as many part-time jobs as I can and take out a loan if I have to. But in his letter, he said that he that he knew it wouldn't be enough and that he didn't want me to go into debt. He left me everything in his will. Uh, he said that if if he was alive, I'd insist on using that money for his treatment. It's been a year now, and I'm still living in the same house, typing from the same chair where I found him. What? I'm still, I'm, st- I still don't know how to live with myself. I have no one now. I should have known he was lying about going to the hospital for treatments, but I was stupid. I was dumb, and I failed to prevent this. And I don't know how to move on. Throw out the chair first. And <laughs> first, foremost. yes. Step one: throw out. Your- but hold on. How about let's? We're overlooking the fact that the uncle here. A little bit of a piece have, of shit. But hold on, guys. Before we throw out the chair, you got to admit, it's probably a nice chair. It might be it a nice must chair. must be. Could be a lazy it boy. a really nice chair. Could be a lazy boy. Like if you're going to keep the, the murder chair. How it is not Suicide covered chair. in blood? Maybe it's leather. Oh, that is good, yes. So we're overlooking the fact the uncle didn't need to do this in the living room, did he? No, if you're going to commit suicide, you should do it in a bathtub or shower. Or somewhere else. Rent a hotel room. Make make sure. a hotel maid find you, not your nephew. That's right. Who you're now, doing this for. The people who find you should be people who are paid an hourly wage. Yes, a minimum hourly wage. People yes. that rely on tips are the ones that should find uh, your body. Yes, not your but- nephew. Tuki used to live next door to a firefighter, and he said the best suicides were ones that were done in a bathtub or shower because it made the cleanup very easy for everyone involved. Well, I can't believe I'm about to bring this up. I had an uncle who committed suicide. Uh, It was a very, very sad thing. Oh, but you got to go to college. (laughs) It wasn't for me. He didn't do it on my account. I had nothing to do with it. But uh, he hung himself in the garage, and I would say, you know, the garage is probably a good place to do it if you're going to do it in your house because no one cares if your garage is haunted, right? Oh, mm-hmm. that is horrible. But you'll be haunted with the memory of finding. Certainly, certainly. Yeah. But also, not a lot of mess. I think that was the, probably one of the most considerate things about the whole situation. Hmm. Did you find him, Vincent? No, no. Oh, who did? His wife. Oh, Oh. do people not think about the people who will need to find him or them? Probably not. That is very odd to me. Or they want to be found. It's it's almost a punishment for the person that's going to find you. This guy's uh, like, you might be going to college, but you're going to be fucked up. I hope at the end of the letter was, I now leave you this chair along with this money. I thought it was going to be that he gambled all the money away, which is what Tukey probably would have done. Yes. Go out with a go out with a bang, huh? Yes. Literally. Never go to college. Put it all on black. Now, 
you believe in heaven, Tuki? Dookie? Oh, of course I believe in heaven. Good, good. There are 72 virgins there waiting for Tuki. Ah, good, good. Dookie. Uh, Tuki. What are you going to do when you get through the 72nd? Uh, throw up. Yeah, you you got to see that. You got to see the pigs that show up after the 70. Once you go through those 72 versions. Yeah. Just so you know, 73 looks like me. Oh, yeah. My so Lord. Got, take, so basically, take your time. Take your time. But you think this guy's uh, up in heaven uh, watching his young nephew, you know, take that money and destroy his life anyway. He goes to college, still ends up working at McDonald's. It's like, I died for this shit. You really, uh, it's a lot of pressure that is added to your life at that point where someone mm-hmm. literally, you know, like the whole thing that the Catholics and the church tries to put on you, Jesus died for your sins. Mm-hmm. And like, you have to think about that for your entire life that someone actually died for you. This guy actually just experienced that. And it's not all wine and roses, apparently. Can you can you imagine, as Tika says, if this is... This guy is one of like the Uncle Rico pay pigs, <laughs> just dropping all his money on super chats. My uncle, my uncle died so I could give super chats to the Uncle Rico show. My uncle Dave Chandler. Uh, MLC is on. Uncle, do I have anyone else in my family that can kill themselves? MLC is back. <laughs> uh, Levy's back on MLC. Come on. Yes. Wow. So yeah, that's a uh, that's the kind of stuff we will find here on true off my chest okay can i uh throw you a fun one please i i really the one thing that i noticed about some of these posts is that they're a little long-winded with a story that's really summed up well in the in the title uh here we go guys let me just slide up here i think i just caught my stepdad masturbating in the hot tub okay for first of all uh not in the hot tub people Please. Come on. No. That is how it's Android already, soup is made. It's already a disgusting, you know, like you said, thing of soup. We don't need to add an extra ingredient. Now, it's 2 a.m. at the time of writing this. I feel really gross right now. This happened like 20 minutes ago, and I don't know what to do or who to tell or if I even tell anyone. Way to run to Reddit, kid. Today was my graduation day. I had a lot of fun, hung out with family and friends for the rest of the day. After my friend went home, my mom stepped in and I were going to get in this new little inflatable hot tub we set up. I personally only use it two or three times, but they probably oh. use it a handful or more times. We were hanging out, listening to music, talking and drinking. I usually don't drink, but it seemed like a good day to have some. I only had two, but my mom and stepdad each had like three or four. It was just seltzer drinks, nothing super strong. Well, let me tell you something. I know a guy who guzzles those things all day, and he's a problem. We We were in there for almost two hours just hanging out and talking. It started raining out, so we all just kind of stopped talking so we could focus on the rain. My stepdad was laying next to my mom, and I was on the opposite end of her. All of us were silent, other than some comments about the rain. I felt pretty tired at this point and planned to go inside soon, but I wanted to enjoy the rain a little longer until I saw something sticking out of the water. The area was pretty dark, so I thought it was a hand floating in the water, but then I see his hand next to it. I decided to get out of the hot tub and just act like I was ready to go inside because I was tired, which I guess was partially true. I don't know how to feel. I feel gross. I don't know for sure it was that but it sure as heck looked like it from where I was sitting. I was the first to get out while he and mom were still sitting there, and I swear it looked like his shorts were moving to the side. I don't really know, though, because I wasn't trying to look. I glimpsed that way. I was feel so a, was, out. Sorry, I got to go back. Was this, was this a stepdaughter or a stepson? This I, is a step... I don't know. It doesn't say, actually. Because like I feel so grossed out. If it's a stepson... This is weirder. I mean, both are bad, but I'm just, I didn't realize. I thought, you know, I, when you started reading this, I thought he was going to walk in on, on him, you know, not, not he was in the hot tub with him. I've never even heard of three people in an inflatable hot tub. Who the fuck gets into a hot tub with their parents? Yeah. I don't like getting in a hot tub with anyone like that. I'm not married to or with <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's just a weird, uncomfortable situation. But is this, is this Louis C.K.'s stepdaughter? 
asked. He he didn't ask, so it's probably not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Louis Louis the gentleman. He always asks before he whips it out. Okay. They they finish this by saying, "I feel so grossed out. This is the guy I see as my dad. I haven't had very good male role models in my life, and I've had a hard time trusting him. He's been around for two years and actually seemed to care. He makes my mom happy, and I haven't seen her care for anyone like that in forever." Even if this was because he was relaxed, I don't know why he would ever do that while I was there. Oh, now it has to be super paranoidly paranoid, wondering if he creeps on me or likes me or something. And I feel so scared because I don't know what to do. If that's true, I feel sick. I'm guessing this is a girl. Well, leave him alone. If he's a good stepdad, let him rub his wiener every now and then. Yes, perhaps perhaps one day the stepfather will kill himself so that you can go to college. Yes, you so... never know what might happen in the future. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, no, that that did that did not go uh the way I was planning or the way I thought it was gonna go. Again, I just thought it was a walk in. Finny, have you ever anyone ever walk in on you uh rubbing one out? 13 years old, dad walked in, walked right back out. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it was a terrible day. I stared at the ceiling like, oh no. Never brought up. Yeah, I think I was about 13 too when I I, I almost got I, I'm pretty sure I got caught, but uh yeah i was about 13. maybe a little maybe like 14 yeah you're very sloppy with it as an as an amateur as an amateur until you get your professional status uh yeah you're a little sloppy with the uh with that yeah activity. it was my fault too i was uh just playing a cabaret record really loud and singing and dancing while i was jerking it was a real problem it was it was quite a spectacle i'm i'm not surprised he walked in um were you noisy i don't know <laughs> yeah i I was. That's how I think I got caught. <laughs> I imagine that is the noise that Vinny makes when he rubs his. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's the noise he makes waiting for dominoes. <laughs> do you have a microphone in my in my bedroom? What are you doing? Oh. Is that your, uh, is that your is that your uh is that your lair? Is that where Vinny rubs one out in the bedroom? Sure. Do you have a room? Do you have a jerk off room, Vinny? Yeah, it's where I keep my sex doll. Same room, <laughs> honey. Same part of. When you when you got married, honey, we got to do some renovations to the house. Why? New kitchen? No, no, no. I need a jerk off room. Sex doll, sex dungeon. Yes. So I said. Oh. oh man, you guys are surreal dicks. Yeah. All right, Cardiff, your turn. Go ahead. Oh, okay, I, let I'm gonna turn this one into a game. I'm going to read the title, but I'm going to blank out the subject, the the adjective. Maybe no, yeah, I guess I don't know. Uh, I'm going to bleep out the subject, and you have to guess That's what, what I bleeped now. out. I'm bringing games to subreddit surfing. I got a blank, but I can't tell anyone why I'm so happy. What did he get? That he can't tell anyone why he's so happy. A puppy? A puppy. Good, good guess. Good guess. Dookie. Any guesses? An erection. Close. Oh, Close. God, Dookie. I got a penile implant, but I can't tell anyone why I'm so happy. Huh. I'm Whoa! <clears throat> Can you imagine? I got you got this giant hog now, but now you have to let everybody think it's. You can't I'm natural. Be, yeah, it's natural. I'm a 24 year old guy who, because of an accident, accident as a child, a child, I literally broke my penis. I went, oh. <clears throat> I went all all my oh. teens not knowing what an oh. erection feels like or oh. what it's like to be able to perform, and no one knows that the reason I've been working since I was 14 is because I had a goal in mind: getting that damn implant. This kid's been working since 14 to pay 10 years to pay for a new penis now having my first sexual experience ever in my life i felt this sense of anger just go off my mind i hated the topic of sex because i knew i was disbanded from enjoying it now i can get hard so much so easy and ironically i have i have a form of a switch and kill switch oh so you can turn it on <laughs> Turns, turn you turn your dick on. Yes, I'm uh, very curious. How like how did he lose his penis? Let's and see what it. is a penile implant? And yes, does it have batteries? I does assume it, it has Bluetooth? like 
I assume it has Frankenstein bolts built into the side of it. Into the side. Stitches. That's that. That's your limit. You don't go past this point. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just, that is a kill switch. I just turn it on and off when I want to. It's creepy, I know, but trust me, I feel like Robocock. <laughs> Does it get soft? Nope. I can now pound forever. And, and, <laughs> and the thought of it itself has revived some sense of self worth that I have never felt before. I'm not even scared to talk to girls now because I'm aware that I have, I have a modified penis with perks and attachments. There's attachments. You could like uh, unscrew it. I, I guess I don't know. Add on a, a tickler. I don't know. Uh, people are like, oh, penis. <laughs> Robo Robo penis. Robo penis, <laughs> people ask me now, ask me why I'm happy now and not all negative and depressed, but I can't tell them because it's awkward and people my age wouldn't understand the pain and sacrifice. I just want to enjoy this victory and anonymity. So I'll put you know, right. if I'm this guy. And I have this fancy detachable robot penis. And people are like, why are you so happy? Tell me why you're so happy. I'm going to go, tell you. I'm going to show you. I'd say, go, go, gadget dick. And I'd have yes. that thing like, unzip itself and just no. shoot out. No, you know, the same laser thing. show. Laser it's, show out of the tip. It's the old, it's the old uh, pull my finger. Instead of pull my finger, push this button and see what happens. <laughs> Bang. Well, Bjorn Cray says, fun fact, penile implants kind of work like built-in penis pumps nowadays. Now, I always assumed those were like those old school pump sneakers. Oh, yes. The Reebok. They, yeah, they, they install like a little uh, pump on your belly button and you just go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you pump it up. I, I remember hearing about these. I don't know if it was Stern or ONA, but it was one of those shows for sure. And it, I remember the, the button would have been, was behind the guy's balls. So you'd have to like push something or pump something behind your balls and then up you go but can you imagine uh, the, the, I, I found the last paragraph amazing it's just people ask me why i'm happy now and not all negative and depressed so this guy was just he's been saving up since he was 14 for his new penis but it, the, he's had he's thought about nothing but penis no. since he was 14 years That's old there's so many more questions like what was there for since he was 14 like what can he he can actually feel things with this penile implant oh uh, i yeah I, I guess you would feel stuff i, I it I seems like his 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 issue was just being able to get it hard oh that was it oh, i thought yeah. he had some kind of accident or something and had a bobo penis no no he had an accident but i guess somehow it stopped right, and is, is it like a chewed up penis like bobos maybe Maybe that's I what guess. I'm picturing. Is this Bobo? It might be. It might Bobo, be. Bobo, do you have a robot penis? Yeah. Are you lying, Bobo? Uh, no, okay, I'm guys. Not lying. I'm not lying. We're, not do- we're not doing this right now. No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's hit some uh, some super chats. Uh, hold on. Steve says, true off my chest, more like liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. I, uh, I, I I skipped some of these that I feel are a little too good to be true. It seemed to be for attention. Wiggle says mm. the Frankenstein bolts are for her pleasure. Agreed. Yeah. Now, uh, make sure you shoot in those uh, super chats, because the more super chats we get, the longer we keep Tukey from having his own live stream today. Mm-hmm. So just keep remembering that. And if you we were... Want and, to- and if you were saving a couple bucks for, for Tukey's live stream later, don't bother. Just send it in now. Yeah. What? Send in your Tukey Super Chat money to subreddit surfing. And, and, uh, and I have one here, guys. And your uncle's inheritance money. Send that all in right now. All right. This is a fun one. Ooh. Throw away because I don't want my followers to see this. I'm just confused right now and need to talk to somebody. I found out that my boyfriend of two years is married and has kids. I'm showing myself to his family tomorrow at his church. What? What does that last Uh-oh. part mean? Well, it means that this guy is very much into church and uh, they're going to show up there. Now it says, I've been seeing this guy, Adam. He's 32 for two years. He's from another town, but visits me on the weekends. Never met his family, friends, or been to his town. I know that he works at a church and he takes pride in it. Three weeks ago, I found out that he's actually married and has two kids. 
I was devastated and in a state of disbelief. But most of all, I was mad, especially after I confirmed that via his wife's social media account, we're still talking and I haven't broke up with him yet. I planned and decided to show myself to his family on Sunday at his church and let them know that he used me and took advantage. I plan on ending it right there. And I'm currently in his town staying at a hotel. I'm doing this tomorrow and no one knows except myself. He's still texting me lies, thinking I'm stupid or ignorant. I feel terrible, but something's pushing me to do this. Don't know if it's angry or feeling bad for his wife and kids. I'm just I'm just not going to lie. I'm worried this might backfire at me, but at this point, I have nothing to lose. I just feel like I need to get my respect and dignity back after being lied to and fooled for two years. You know, it would take me a lot to want to go back to church, but I, I'd go that Sunday. You'd want to be there for that one? Yeah. I don't think that family would be more surprised if Jesus came back. Like, honest to God, that's quite a surprise for the family. Yeah, that would make that would make church a lot more interesting. A lot more if it became if it became a Mori Povich episode. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So some of the comments on this were like, hey, don't do anything in front of the kids. Talk to the spouse, which I think is probably good advice there. You don't want to get drag kids into this. No, make a scene. Make a scene in church, yell, curse, say dirty things, and show yourself to his family if you know what Tukey means. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? You sold me, Tukey. I have an agreement. I think you need to go to the church and flash your beaver. Yes. Go to the church. Nana, nana, nana. Wave it at the kids. Yes, Mm -hmm. the way she was saying show myself to his family. I was thinking, yes, she should absolutely do that. Uh, Steve yeah. says, good point here, Steve. She can't just take the L. She has to ruin his life. Well, that happens. That happens a lot. Like, again, there's, there, there, there are some people that want to poison the kids too, right? In some divorces, it's like, you know, they, they want to turn the kids against and they want to turn everybody against them. Right. Mm-hmm. So maybe that is a, it's a, it's a, it's an easier way to get that done. One <laughs> shot, the entire family, the entire congregation, everybody, everybody's going to know what a piece of shit you are. One Listen, shot. He wasted That's... two years of her life. Yes. How dare he? Okay. And listen, I don't have any victim blame stingers loaded right now, but I will say this. If you're dating someone for two years and they will only see you on weekends, you've never met friends or family. They live in another town. You don't know anything about them. There's some red flags there. Yes. And you might want to think about that. Trevor Zero, thank you for the four ninety nine. You are all terrible. Oh. Keep up the great work. We will, Trevor. Thank, thank you. you for watching. I'm confused. How does does someone with two kids and a wife, I just don't understand how you have the time to do puppet shows on the internet and cheat on your spouse. Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to figure out how to figure out how you can do this too. Yes. Let me know. I'm curious. Yeah, so manual. I need an owner's manual for this. How do I people have time? The second the, the, the secret family is is a is an odd one. How do you do this? I, I, we've been rewatching The Sopranos uh, over the last few weeks. It just even just Tony's life is exhausting. <laughs> like, how does he? How does he do all this? I don't. Get I don't it. think I could. But yeah, the second family is a mm, second family subreddits. There's got to be one. Yes, but please, if you know how to do it, email bedabblershow at gmail dot com. Thank you. Step by step instructions. Yes. Yeah. Pictures preferred. Hmm. Okay. Wiggle says, I hope that the congregation starts making mean comments like Jerry Springer. Agreed. Yeah, do they have a giant do they have a giant bald security guard at the church? Uh he's one of the apostles. All right, Birch the Great says Tukey greater than potato. Potato way greater than Vinny. All right. Thanks, Birch. Thanks for the two bucks. Hacka right. hacka. This, this isn't going the way I planned. Let's get rid of Tukey. I like what? Tukey. Oh. Let's keep Tukey around. All right, fine. Tukey, you you stream every Saturday morning, do you? Yes. Uh, B Dabbler has finally decided on a time slot that works with his first family, and that mm-hmm. is uh, eight a.m. Well, ten a.m. Eastern on Saturday mornings, and uh, that is what we are doing now. So, yes, we have twenty-five minutes. Let's go. Yes. What's your hurry? 
What's your hurry? Well, I uh, have to go. Cardiff, what's your next subreddit, Cardiff? Go right ahead. Uh, thank you to the girls who intervened when they thought I was date raping my girlfriend. What? <laughs> a wow. A few months ago, I was out drinking at a bar with my girlfriend. She's diabetic and noticed her sugar was dropping. A loud bar isn't the best place to be when you're having a medical issue, so she said she'd find a bench outside and come back in when she felt better. Wanting me to keep having fun, uh, she assured me she had it under control and I let it go. Now, first of all, when someone's blood sugar is dropping off, uh, you, you might want to stay with them. Yeah, uh, it's like, don't get back to the bar. Yeah, maybe sit on the bench with her for a little bit. Anyway, 10 minutes go by, I start to worry and I go look for her. I found her sitting on a set of stairs with her head between her knees. She ran out of soda with her blood still being low. Not a huge deal. You get used to this sort of thing happening every now and then. Uh, I run back into the bar, grab another soda, and trot over uh, to encourage her to take sips. Looking at the situation, it completely warranted some type of checking in on. A girl alone looking drunk as fuck with some dude is encouraging her to take sips of liquid. A group of girls approached us and asked what was going on. Oh man, now I can even feel myself getting nervous. <laughs> the situation was explained. I anxiously showed her her insulin pump and spat out a few sentences about her sugar being low. Uh, satisfied they walked away i just want to thank those girls it's great to see women have each other's backs thank you guys uh even though you gave me the most anxiety i've had in a while okay i thought wow. and initially i thought he actually put some like uh, some insulin in her drink while she wasn't looking or something like that was going to be the story she's diabetic i swear yeah she just she's diabetic she puts the insulin right in her kool-aid yeah uh, captain kickass says cardiff tukey and Vinny all in one show take my money this is entertainment Thank you for the 10 bucks, Captain Kickass. We Thank appreciate you, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. And if you yeah, have that's... any money saved for a later uh, YouTube stream, just throw it all out now. What? Yes. And uh, Birch the Great now has corrected this and says, Vinny is greater than other Italian podcasters. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was watching the pasta podcast the other day. You are much better than the pasta podcast. Hey! Okay. Sucks! Gabagoo. Uh, gabagoo. Gabagoo. Right. I got one for you guys here. Please. You're going to take this. Here we go. I'm lying to everyone I know and not for a good reason. Ooh. This one's really interesting to me. This is kind of uh, kind of creepy. I don't know if you do those here, but uh, he puts a trigger warning for self-harm in this. He's 17 years old. Uh, life is great. I have an amazing family, a partner who loves me and lovely friends. Problem is they all think I have chronic headaches, which I don't. When I was in middle school, too lazy to care about studying and too introverted to have friends who I actually wanted to see, I decided to find a way to skip school. It was a good kid uh, who's shy and quiet and never disappoints their parents. So pretending to be unwell seemed like the perfect solution. I don't know why I specifically went for headaches, but it carried me for years. It's something that can't be checked. It's easy for me to fake and can be severe enough for allow me to skip school. I absolutely hate that I made such a good choice. Somehow, every little change I made made sense. When I decided the light hurt, it became a migraine. When it continued for a few days at a time, it turned out migraines can be days long. Even when my sleeping schedule decided to flip during the, the migraines, my mom found somewhere that it was something that happened with migraines. Everything just went perfectly. Now... I have a week each month during which I just lie in bed and do absolutely nothing. No one bothers me. I can avoid all contact with all other people and have a good reason to do so. To be completely honest, I quite like these migraines, and I hate myself so much for that. He's a genius. <laughs> Fuck a genius. I would rather have my the, the fake migraines than a second family, Tukey. Agreed. This man should be running for president. He might be. He might. He might have just announced, just two days ago, and crashed Twitter. <laughs> Oof. Logically, I know what I'm doing is horrible, and I know I can't get away with it forever. I know I need to stop, but I can't. I can't both because of the obviously, uh, absolutely terrifying part of such a confession. That is a huge thing to confess. You've been lying for how long? I think what this guy needs to do is just go, huh? Fucking keep either keep doing this forever yeah. or suck it up and go. Oh, I guess my head doesn't hurt today. Look, I feel pretty good. Wow. I somehow my migraines just stopped. This person is just bragging. Yes. They wanted to go online and brag 
that they have figured out how to do nothing and be lazy and not have anyone call them lazy. They're genius. I, uh, I'm impressed. And this is like a 17 year old. Can you imagine Sorry. what this person is going to be doing in their forties? They will nothing. be running the country. <laughs> the person's going to be doing nothing. Dookie's right. They're going to be laying in a bed with you the got... nurse on, fucking looking at their phone. And That's somehow he, he'll, he'll be the CEO of Apple. Somehow he'll just he'll just fake migraine himself all the way to the top. <laughs> oh, I mean, he's just out there doing campaign speeches, going, "Oh, I guess my head is hurting. I need to go lay down." Everyone, yay! Now, Vinny, I didn't want to out you today. Oh, well, here I we didn't are. want. I didn't want to post one of your posts. I didn't want to read one of your posts from this, but I had to. I had to. Maybe. Maybe, you have to. I think subconsciously you knew we were going to do this subreddit and you thought Cardiff will, Cardiff will find this and I'll just get it out in the open. All right. Lay it out there for everybody. My wife doesn't know, but once or twice a month after she falls asleep, I order a medium pizza and <gasps> eight wings and I eat them outside in the backyard by myself and throw away the evidence before I go back to bed. And first off, Cardiff, you know how you know this isn't me? Medium, medium pizza medium. and eight wings. What are we doing here? Well, don't worry. It, he upgrades a little later in the post. Uh, it's honestly the most exciting thrill I, that I have. Often daydream about and look forward to. I wake up pretty thirsty and bloated, though. LOL. So this guy's just dreaming about his, his late night pizza backyard moments. Uh, I can completely relate to this. Bjorn Craig says, God damn, that sounds like a shitty relationship. Absolutely. Whatever you have to run and hide to do anything, your relationship's not great. No, sometimes you do. I can completely relate. But the Tuki, best- you run out. Tuki, do you have to go out and eat food on the sly? Yes. And Tuki's mom has found the receipts in his car. And. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my Mrs. Cardiff has often said, uh, how come as soon as I go to bed, I hear the cupboard slamming? <laughs> the ghost fridge. house haunted. Yeah, it's I, the ghosts. Tuki has to pass four McDonald's on the way home from a place he works at at least once a week. And yes, Tuki has been confronted with McDonald's receipts before. Mm-hmm. A, pre, a, so pre-dinner, a pre-dinner is, Big Mac. Yes, but that is also why I enjoy uh, my 600-pound life, because there's many uh, instances of them doing the same thing. Oh, you're a 600-pound life fan? Yes. Oh, okay. I think we just came up with a new show, Duke. (gasps) I love 600-pound life. Yes, me too. The only thing I skip is the actual surgery parts. I cannot watch that. But yes, no, I yeah, everything I else. See, I just want to see the weigh ins. Mm-hmm. I just want to see them fucking it all up. Yes. <laughs> How they, yes, the, the washing in the beginning. You didn't, you're not serious about the, you, you're losing weight. I did the, what, you're lying. Oh, I love that show. Okay. A 600 pound wrap up show is coming for next season. I think they Done. start in January. Done. I'd watch. I'd watch. Uh, Turbo Neil Breen. <laughs> Will you try out for Fish Tank Season 2? Praise Letty. Who are yeah. you asking this to? All of us. The All of us should be on Fish Tank. I'd go be on Fish Tank. That'd be Let's fun. Do it. What it actually tank? looks like torture. It actually looks awful. It's, uh, a, it's a, like a Big Brother kind of YouTube show, no? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, Club Footed Duck, thank you for the $10. Ever think about getting Dr. Steve and Hamburger together? Our Clubfoot. Great guest lately. Keep up the good work. <laughs> thank you. Maybe well, we will. We're going to tackle that subreddit. There's only one natural guest. I do have to. I do have to check if there is a club footed subreddit because that would be a good one. But Vinny, um, our friend here uh, who yeah. likes to order pizza in the middle of the night posted some pictures of their of their shame. Oh, so, that's so funny. So there's <laughs> there's the late night delivery beside the kids' toys on the porch. <laughs> Some Canada Dry, some tight this guy's not, boxes. This guy is not scared of his wife. And here's how I know he's not scared of his wife. He had it delivered to the front door. 
If you're scared of your wife, you're you're hiding at the bushes at the end of the driveway, meeting the guy before he gets to the house. No, I, I think he's embarrassed of the pizza guy. Too. He doesn't want the pizza guy to see him. And here's his here's his spot. This is his this is his fortress of solitude in the backyard with his pizza wings and a diet coke. He's a man after my own heart. Eat whatever you coke. want and have a diet coke with it. I do prefer diet coke. Oh, that is disgusting. Diet coke or the wings? yes, no regular uh, regular coke all the way. And he's and he's ah. getting half pepperoni, half, like if it's all for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, don't you do the half when you're like splitting a pizza with somebody and somebody doesn't want pepperoni? Yes. What is wrong with this man? Just make your fucking pizza. Make your perfect pie. Yes. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Maybe this is his perfect pie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is what this what this guy's into. Maybe this guy likes to feel like he has two pizzas. Right. Maybe he slaps a piece of pepperoni oh. and a piece of mushroom together. He makes the perfect calzone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think you I think you figured it out, Dookie. Thank you. I think you figured it out. And now the, the after <laughs> wings are done. Good job. Wings and and this is right. He's he's listen. This guy is smart, Vinny. I think you'll agree with me here. He finishes the wings first. Yep. So that now all the wing sauce all over his fingers and in the container can be used and absorbed by the pizza crust. That's right. Basically, yeah. the pizza crust becomes a napkin. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Sop it all up. Yes. This is. They're all fat. And now he's hiding. This looks like he's hiding the garbage in his shed until garbage day. That is important. Yes. You yeah. do have to throw out your garbage somewhere oh, where you will not be caught. And he's outing himself. I would not have uh, expected. No. I would not have expected this gentleman. I was thinking that. fat Gindaloon. Not I don't know. Chubby Asian. I don't know. This guy seems sneaky. Um, <laughs> Principal uncertainty said, who would have imagined all these years ago this would end up with Cardiff and Vince hosting a show with Tukey? I'm almost so scared of what's going to be happening by 2025. You have very no, you have I, I have no idea where this is all going to go. So, yes, that's um, our pal. That's our backyard pizza eating pal. Yeah, this guy, uh, I completely agree with Wiggles here. Uh, he is not worried about his wife at all. This guy's just having fun with it. I don't fall. I'm not falling for it. All right, Cardiff. I need to find my other one. Uh, vamp for me for a second, buddy boy. All right. I'll pull. I'll pull one out. I'll pull okay. one out. I lost my place. I just realized. So go ahead. Six years ago, I switched my wife's cat with a more well-behaved lookalike. <laughs> what? Now, I'm hoping we find out in this post what he did with the original cat. Or maybe I don't want to know. Six years ago, I swapped my my then girlfriend, now wife's cat, with a more well-behaved lookalike. She had a she had an all-black cat that was extremely aggressive. It scratched everyone, hissed at everyone, and didn't use its litter box half the time. My wife insisted she could get it to behave better. One week, she went out of town to visit her family, and I was supposed to go to her apartment and feed it. The first night I went over, it scratched the shit out of my arm. I joked to the cat that it, I joked to the cat that it's not special and I'll replace it if it scratches again. The joke stuck with me and I had a thought and I thought about it enough that it wasn't a joke. The next morning I lo- went to the local animal shelter, found an identical cat who was already litter box trained and acclimated to people, uh, but was a little skittish. Its old owner died of a heart attack and the animal shelter people said that they think it was, that's why it was skittish. But overall, it was a lot friendlier and better behaved. The skittishness would help it resemble the original cat. So I adopted it, took it to my wife's apartment, settled it in, and drove her original cat to an animal shelter a town over. So it was a trade-in. What? Essentially. You get good uh, deals when you trade in, depending yeah. on how many miles you put on the pet. You get the you get the free true coat. Yeah. You know, they did that shit to me when I first got married. My wife wanted a kitten. Like mm-hmm. they, they will do like car dealer deals with you at these fucking uh, shelters easily. <laughs> There was a brother and sister, two cats, and my wife was looking at me like, well, which one do you want? And she's like, oh, she's got both of them All licking of her. Them. And uh, they come back and says, well, we have a deal for you today. We'll do buy one, get one free for you today if you want to oh, take them you. Tremendous. And at that point, what do you say? But okay, continue the story. 
It's been six years uh, since then. We got married four years ago. We still have the swapped cat. It answers to the original cat's name. Uh, my wife knows nothing. She loves this cat and brags about how much better behaved it is. Every time I see it, I feel like a total piece of shit. Uh, for the people <laughs> saying the other cat was likely euthanized by the shelter, I just double checked, and the shelter I dropped it off for, uh, dropped it off at, was still a no kill shelter. Ah, fuck the cat. I, I double checked it. Yes, yes, that cat is dead. They Why threw it at Paris. Yeah, Why, six oh, years, six years ago he checked. Six years ago he checked. Uh oh, Kinky Loco uh, upset. Upset that a cat was treated uh, in such a way. Well, I have to say that in this particular scenario, I don't know if I believe this story. This seems a little a little silly to me. Uh, JT says, sorry, I overslept, boys. What is the category exactly? Truth off my chest, people making confessions. Um, I feel like that story is a little too good to be true. There's no way they found an exact replica of a cat. All well, black. All black cat. Every year... You could tell the difference between them. This is silly. Right. Yeah. How did the wife not know? Wait a minute. This cat is not my cat. Like, oh, you, he, she went away for a week. You know, oh, she, you, you well, forget you forget it. a lot in a week. That explains it. Yeah. yeah Vinny, I'm gonna swap out next time Vinny's wife takes a business trip. I'm gonna swap out Vinny. She won't notice a thing after a week. Yeah, they're, they're gonna send in Vito Giswaldi and see if she notices. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, at least he's, uh, at least he's litter box trained. He is not. <laughs> no, he is not. Uh, Birch the Great knows my pain. That's how I ended up with two cats a month. Buy <laughs> buy one get one. Yeah, that's how it happens. Here's my next story, guys. You ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Just found out the guy my ex wife has been dating for two years is a registered what? sex offender. Ooh. Dookie, another one about you. Go ahead. What? Yep. So, yeah, this week has been a roller coaster. Last Friday morning, my wife was Googling the boyfriend for one reason or another, most likely related to their upcoming court dates. First thing we found out after Googling him is that he had a DUI and a revoked license. Well, that's not good. But then the next thing that showed up, there was a national database of registered sex offenders. The incident happened over 20 years ago and put him around 18 years old. He had attacked a child under 12. What? I've been sending my kids over there for two years and I had no clue. This launched a CPS investigation at the school. My children are 12, 9, and 7. I would never have sent them there if I had known this dude liked fucking children. Me and my wife are so or, goddamn or mad. even Or even had a, a remote inclination. Yeah. Doesn't have to like it. Just has to be interested in it, too. That's no, not going there. Yeah. Out. Goodbye. Don't care about the misunderstanding. Get the fuck out. She never once told me she knew he was a kid fucker. How do I know she knew? Because in my mind, if CPS calls you and tells you the man you're dating is a registered sex offender, then you would fly off the handlebars, jump into survival instinct mode. Nope, not her. She will not admit to me. She knew. She will not admit she knew to me. Lies to me that she never lived there. I have so much text proof. Arrest records showing he lived there which he wasn't because that crossing state lines just lies, lies, lies. Well, thankfully, when I took her to court last time, I was awarded full custody because she was, get this, arrested 10 minutes after work with weed, ecstasy, and meth in her person on her way to pick up the kids. <clears throat> Uh-oh. You know, it Talk is, about a guy just trying to dunk on his ex. Well, you know, it is very hard for single mothers to find companionship, Vinny Paulino. It true. sounds like it's very hard for single mothers to find a courier for their drugs, Tuki. Mm -hmm. This is true, too. But, if but you're going to do drugs, don't pick up your children with the drug. Yes. Se two, two separate uh, trips. Yes. How about that? Uh, let's, let's be honest, though. It's like the We're farmer, the fox, and the, and the, and the rabbit. <laughs> Which do you take? And yeah, the how you get on the boat? Yeah. Yeah. You got your meth. You got your kids. How do you get it across the river safely? But let's be honest. We're all worried. We're all bent out of shape about the registered sex offender. Shouldn't we be more worried about the unregistered sex offenders? How do we They're register all, them? Yes. Mm -hmm. How about the ones that are hiding? The ones we don't know about? Yes, we definitely need sex uh, offender control. Yes, we need to do better. We need to do better with our sex offenders. Do you ever look oh. up what sex offenders live in your area? Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's for some reason the dot on the map is like right over. It's, it's, it's very close to. It's almost like it's 
very strange. It's very strange. Big there red must, dot. Yeah, there must there must be a problem with the uh, the map. Yes, I get. I knew a guy who ended up in a lot of trouble, became a sex offender, and I learned about how to check the registry, and I check it all the time since then. Mm-hmm. It's because mm-hmm. I wanted to see what happened to this fucking scumbag. It's fascinating. He's living in Galveston, Texas now. I actually know his address. It's fucking weird. You can just track that stuff through there. It's a problem. Oh, yeah, that's a... Whew. So, Vinny, tomorrow... Yeah. Tomorrow. Well, this was one year ago, so I wonder if this life's been ruined. Tomorrow, I'm going to ruin his life. So oh. Someone planning, uh, planning to ruin someone's life. I've been with him three years now. We planned on getting married when our lives settled down. I wanted to start a family with him. I loved him more uh, than anyone else in this world. I've sacrificed so much for him, moved away from my home, turned down jobs so I could stay with him, and stood by his side as he started to go back to school. I gave him my world. And he cheats on me. (laughs) Tale as old as time. I found it over a month ago. The scumbag got cocky, and I found out he was cheating on me with two different women. Not one, two. Two. Again, uh, one... how do you do that? Again, I really want to <laughs> well, know. Hold on, maybe we'll find okay. out. Maybe okay. no. See now, Tuki, what you want to learn, what you want to learn from these posts is how they got caught, so you oh. can avoid that. That's what yes. you want to take. Take lessons from our friends here. I found out over a month ago the scumbag got cocky, uh, and he was cheating on me with two different women. One is a TA at his university; the other, his best friend's girlfriend. This guy is a true <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> I am livid. I write this post choking back venom. I loved him so much. He was my world, but now he will be the world I burn to nothing but ash. <laughs> A woman scorn. Let's see. I pay for everything since he quit his job last year to go to school. I was more than happy to help him. I make enough to support us both. The only upside is the student loans are in his name with no connection to me. It will hurt to push the scumbag out to sea, but I will survive. I have held out for a month. So, um, can you imagine just holding on to this for a month? No. She, no. This is a, this, you, you can't hold on to this for five minutes. No. Yes. This is something where Tuki would go get up, bitch, and throw the phone at her. Enough time to create what I call the day his world burns. Tomorrow we are hosting a party. She had this on the calendar. She put this on the calendar. Did you did you just say as the day the world the, burns? The day his world burns. We're hosting a party. I arranged for his family to come, but my family will sadly not be able to make it. I have packed everything valuable already, and the suitcase is in the back of my car. My brother will come during the event tomorrow to take the car uh, that is in my name that the dirt bag drives to my parents' house. Uh, The joint account, which is all my money, is already empty. The event will be great, and he thinks it's for us to announce our engagement to his family. But but what will happen in reality is I will announce my departure from his life. I have already taken a job out of state and have lined up a new place to live. I will start by telling everyone what he is into, uh, the screenshots of him asking his friend's girlfriend to piss on him, and many other... It's... It's Kevin Dumbfuck. Uh, or no, it's OJ. OJ's the one that likes to get pissed on, right? OJ, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. yes. Uh, OJ's the, the human toilet, yeah. Yes. And the many other fantasies his degenerate mind came up with will be passed around, and I will be... And I should make little cups. Like, make the plates, print the screenshots on the plates, so as soon as you eat your cake, you see underneath, oh, please piss on me. Uh, I will hand him a notice. That, of, did you see that movie, The Menu? Yes. They should like print the the the, uh, the text messages on tortillas. Yes, and, like serve them to the food. Yeah. On food, if everybody looks at your tortilla, you can see that this dude was yeah. asking to be peed on. You can see what a piece of shit you are. I will hand him the notice to vacate, and I've already broken our lease. Uh, we need to be out by the end of the month. I will then end off end off by informing him I have already reported he was sleeping with the TA to one of his classes. Uh, the previous semester to the university and that I am sad. I won't see the fallout from that. His friend also has a message for him that will deliver informing him uh, that his friend group never wants him, wants to see him again. And with that, I will leave. I will not look back. I will set his life on fire and walk away. Waka waka. Uh, I have made an update. Go find it. Ooh. You guys, I want to find the update. Okay. So I'm totally not into this 
I don't like when people like air their laundry like this publicly. I love it for the terms of for the settings of the show, but in personal, you know, lives, don't do this. Steve, I gotta ask you, Steve in our chat, he wrote, ladies, just take that L and move on. Don't be a vindictive bitch. Steve, did this happen to you? Because you seem to have be very strong in your opinion that women should just take the L once they're cheated on. I'm just curious. Uh Tiberius says, don't cheat on smart women, basically cheat on the dumb ones. That's not cool. Don't cheat on anyone. No. That's not a good thing to do. Yeah, Dookie. Yeah. So I found the update. Tiger Lily says, fucked around and found out, literally. Go ahead. What do you got? So yesterday, <clears throat> I was supposed to ruin his life. Uh, they say that hubris is the downfall of man. Yesterday, I planned to ruin his life in front of his entire family. I worked for a month to create the scenario uh, that would cut him the deepest. I patiently waited for the chance to storm out of his world in a blaze of glory. And then I hit the front page of Reddit. Uh, I realized I had fucked up when I when he was not answering my texts and had not shown up hours after he told me he would be home. So I guess someone found out. Uh, I had hoped it was she a happy accident. She posted it on Reddit. And does this person have a lot of other posts out there? Like, well, click on the name. Not a lot, no. But she found. Well, again, this this might be a re repost, but. Um, it, it hit the front page like it became like the hot post of the day. So I guess it, the guy figured it out. I had hoped it was a happy accident, literally like a car killing him before I had the chance. <laughs> a happy accident. Uh, but no, I don't know how many men uh, in the world are currently cheating on their soon to be fiance with their best friend's girlfriend and a TA. However, the one who mattered in my plan uh, found my Reddit post. I called his mother and found out that he had run home to his parents. Uh, you told them we had a fight and they were probably through. I was and I'm still livid at myself. <sighs> so she outed herself. So she did not get to she did not do get anything to, she wanted to do. To do. If, if any of this is true, she did not get to do anything she wanted to do. And he left. He left her. He wins. You know why I'm going to go ahead and say again. <laughs> you know why I'm going to go ahead and say this is true? Because this doesn't seem like the type of update you would give if you were just making up the story. If you're a psycho who's making up this whole story about the guy cheating on you, you're going to write, it was glorious. His mother coughed up blood on the papers that I handed out. Like They would make up a whole story. Yeah, I guess. Be... I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, you would. If you're going to lie, you're going to continue the lie, right? And, yeah. and make yourself look, look the hero. Steve, thanks uh... for the two bucks. He answered my question. He said, nope. I give the same advice to men. Just move on. Fair enough. Just Gentlemen, thank you for having me, but they have to go. Ooh, uh, post the link uh, in the uh, chat and I'll put it up on the screen and we'll send everyone there <laughs> as soon as we wrap up. Yes, uh, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for having hey. me. Vinny Paulino, it's very nice to meet you. Cardiff Electric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be a pleasure. A pleasure. Get, get, nice. get to your stream and have fun. We'll see you around sometime. Nice thank to meet you, you Dookie. I love you both more than a friend. Wahaka haka. Haka haka. Uh, Vinny, who's more potato shaped, Cardiff or Vinny? Vinny. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for taking that one for me. Yeah, no problem. You're lumpier. I am lumpier. You're way lumpier than me. I am very smooth potato shaped. You are. I, I have know, lumps. Yeah. I do have lumps. Uh, Vinny. Yeah. Here's a fun one. Lay it on me. Tried to warn a girl at the gym. Now, what do you think this person was trying to warn a girl at the gym about? Well, I saw this one, so I know the answer. Oh, okay. Uh, but I would say, hey, you know, warning, there's a real creeper running around or something like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Someone's making TikToks about you. Nope. I tried to warn a girl at the gym that had period stains on the back of her shorts, and she went on a rant. Uh, saying that she was working out an OMG uh, and trying to make fun of, of me in front of everyone for being weird. Okay, so this girl has period stains on her shorts and is making fun of another patron at the gym for being weird. So I announced the entire gym that she was staining the equipment with her period blood and that she needed to wash and clean herself immediately. I have never seen her since. Uh, I know it was probably really petty. And I got a lot of shit from people for doing that. But honestly, try being humble uh, enough to listen before making a public scene. Fucking drama queens. 
Oh, I'm glad I'm not that, a woman. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, I'm actually really thrilled about that. I would be so ugly. Um, my problem here is tell the gym, don't tell her. Why are you making this your job? Well, no, I think I think what she's trying to say is she was trying to be nice, or yeah. he was trying to be nice at first, discreetly saying, "Hey, uh, uh, you might want to," uh, and then she like maybe it's probably a guy. She probably thought he was trying to hit on her, and she's like pushing him away, you know. Uh, trying to defuse the situation he's like okay fuck you i'm telling everybody you're just leaving a trail of blood around the gym oof 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 i i would not stand for being yelled at by this person who's bleeding everywhere i I wouldn't i wouldn't handle that well i don't think has that ever happened to you at the gym Vinny? the where the game oh i don't go to games you don't go to games, no? no. I yeah, I couldn't tell. Everybody says I get my figure naturally. Yes, in the backyard, a few times a month with <laughs> pizza and wings. Oh uh, man, oh. what's your? You got another one there, Cardiff? I did. I did have another one. Uh, I wanted to pull up. Uh, uh, I my kid was raped at her special needs school today. Nope. Uh, I took my terminally ill friend's virginity before she passed. Nope. Uh, uh, where was uh, where was it? I made a joke and got fired. You're a comedian, Vinny. Do you think anyone should be fired for making a joke? Uh, Depends on the joke. No. no. no okay. I mean, if it's... <clears throat> you know how I judge a joke? I've actually come up with this. Um because everybody says something insensitive and then goes, it's a joke. Here, here's the rule. Mm-hmm. Uh, was the intent to make the other person laugh? Well, let's find out. Let's see if this, this passes the Vinny joke test. But but hold on. If it was just to make you laugh, it's it doesn't count. A, it, it, it's half a joke. Mm. I give that half a joke. If it's just for you, it's a half a joke. I would say intended to make somebody laugh. So even if it's just you, I, I'll accept it. Okay. I'll accept it. Coworkers and I sat down for lunch. We typically grab lunch on Sundays as that is the end of our work week. Uh, one of them has been struggling with her weight and doing a lot of stupid fad diets. I said I could lose 10 pounds in 10 seconds. You got this. Uh, being my sarcastic asshole self, she replied, 10 pounds takes a lot of hard work. Uh, you think it's so easy. So I snapped off my fake leg and I told her, see, it's that easy. (laughs) Good joke. I'm going to give this one good joke. And I'm sure this isn't the first time this person has said that either. And then he got fired for it. Yes. Uh, So I snapped, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I got a phone call about my inappropriate behavior and termination. I thought it was funny. Oof. Quick backstory, I'm a bit of an asshole who's been known to push buttons due to my dark humor. I suppose this was the straw that broke the camel's log. Uh, I'm not looking to, to sue as software companies talk, and I don't want to be blackballed. Uh, nothing I joke about is meant to be malicious, and oftentimes I'm the butt of my own joke. I hope I made some of you smile. Uh, and those who said the joke wasn't funny, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah so so this guy's in a software company. He's probably in San Diego, San Francisco. He's very woke, and I guess you can't... I, I don't see what that's fireable for. Right. I agree with you. That seems pretty... I think this guy's probably just a dick, and this per, there's probably yeah. been ongoing issues, and they don't want to admit it. So I thought about your question while you were talking. When should anybody be fired over a joke, a bad joke, or something like that? The only people who should be fired over bad jokes are comedians. Yes. So I agree that's the you. answer. That is the people, right answer. That, that people should be fired for bad jokes. Comics. Now, Card, if I have one more for you here, if you're oh, interested. Oh, yes, I am. This is uh, quite startling when I came across this one. I found out my ex-wife didn't abandon our family. She was dead Oof. the whole time. All right, let's go. I, a 45-year-old male, have a daughter, 22-year-old female, and a son, 18-year-old male with any ex-wife who I thought abandoned us 15 years ago. Let's say she was going through uh, a bad phase in her life. She was very depressed and hardy abandoned us for 
a three month period in the past. She promised me she was never going to do it again. One day she said she was going to the store. And after a couple hours, I decided to go see at the store. She wasn't there. I, uh, I waited days hoping she was coming back, but she never did. So I went to the police station to file a missing report, but they said they think that she ran away because she has done it before and a grown adult can vanish if they want. So they never filed a missing persons report. I was devastated. How can I announce this to my kids? I was furious at her because she left me with our two kids alone. So 15 years have passed since that time. And one day I get a call from an investigator who said they need a DNA sample from my son or daughter because of an investigation about an unidentified murder victim. <laughs> I was very confused, but I told my son that he was agreed to give the sample. Three months after that, I received a call from the same investigator on the case. Shocking information identified the victim was my ex-wife. For 15 years, I thought she abandoned us. I feel so bad now. My kids are devastated. I don't know how to feel about that because I didn't believe uh, her when she said she was never going to run away again. I feel like a piece of shit for being hateful towards her all this time. She was dead and had gone through horror. I don't know what to think. Oof. It sounds like she was murdered and oof. Yeah, that's an oof. That is uh yikes. You know how many times this guy has to take back? And if your mother didn't leave us, shit that he yelled at these kids, I bet. Probably, yeah. It, probably blaming the kids for your mother leaving us too. Like this is your yeah. fault. This is all your fault. Oh man. That's a, uh, that is a tough one. Yeah, that is a tough one. All right, Cardiff, we got time for one more today and we're going to be back on Wednesday. What do you got? Back buddy? on Wednesday. Let's, let's do one more. This is a, uh, I think this is, I'm still trying to figure this one out. I read this one a few times, but I think this is a positive one. So let's, let's end on a positive and we're not ending right now. What we're going to do is we're going to snipe stream uh, be dabbler's show for the rest okay. of his show yeah so we'll do right. that we'll we'll make sure we we get that done uh my husband does actually no before i read this one let's go through just some of the ones i'm just going to read the titles of some of the ones i pulled but we're not going to go through because they're far too long and we don't have time uh my wife gave me chlamydia that's one on here uh i drove one and a half hours to take a nap in my mom's bed there's there's one uh i offered to let my mom live with me under the exact same terms I lived with her as a teen. Okay. But again, some of these are way too... Yeah, you're grounded, Mom. Uh, my boyfriend asked for a paternity test for a child. As soon as the results come and show he is the father, I'm leaving him. Uh, my kid was raped at her special needs school. I think I mentioned that one before. Uh, the man baby is finally facing the music. All right, hit that one. Oh, you want that one? Yeah, it sounds pretty right. good. All right. My brother is a 31 year old in his time on earth. He has not had to lift a finger to keep any of his needs met. He dropped out of college after less than half a semester because he could not bother rolling out of bed before noon to take the car. Our parents gave him to class. Uh, this person is very, uh, has very, has brother issues. Uh, he worked a combination of two and a half months of his entire life at 31 years old. He's worked two and a half months of his entire life. He lost what, his why, first... migraines. Does he have migraines? Mate, well, let's see. Let's see. He lost his first job at a Dairy Queen because he swore at a mother over the drive through speakers and lost his second because he caught he was he got caught stealing uh, from the till of a family owned restaurant. Uh, he has spent the entire the last eight years rolling out of bed at 2 p.m. to do nothing but play video games and troll discord servers to find it's kinky loco. Everybody, it's kinky loco. <laughs> i love you kinky i love you kinky. um to find someone just as pathetic as him to hang out with uh it does not help he's an annoying violent self-centered brat who would push my parents in front of a bus for the thrill of a dopamine hit my parents always tried their best with us they gave us everything we needed uh, in life and then some they have always been more than understanding to all of their children uh, for me and my two siblings who are worth something, uh, it's led to incredible performances in academia, academia, well-paying jobs, and amazing start to our adult lives. Uh, well, I mean, come on. Nobody bats a thousand. Sure. <laughs> they they sure. did good. They did good with three out of four. I mean, come on. Yeah. The, parents, the parents did a pretty good job. Yeah. I mean, oh. the 750 average. 
<laughs> oh, never mind. The poster goes exactly there. I wish I could commend them for their 75% success rate, but they have allowed the man baby to sit in his cradle and make demands for 31 years too long. Uh, and now they find themselves. Oh, hold the on. Of- 31 years too long. I mean, we could say maybe, you know, 16 years. Yeah, too yeah, yeah. Long. Yeah, they, he's allowed to be a baby. He's allowed to be a baby for the first little while, right? Uh, who sits in an attic playing uh, Valorant all day while cursing my mom out when she dares to ask him to clean up the rotting garbage he spreads across his room. This is this is very again. We talked with B- uh, with Dookie about this, my six hundred pound life. This is the one that this is the part that gets me on that show is when they get angry that the people aren't doing enough for them on my 600 pound life when they're their enablers are not doing enough you're not you're not yeah. wiping my ass nicely enough be more yeah. gentle the, there's a victim mentality of why are you doing this to me when it's shit that you should be doing yourself it is yeah. completely insufferable yeah. and it's the same thing with hoarders dude like when you watch the hoarder show that's another one i love i miss that show why, why don't you take pity on me uh, last year, dad had a stroke. He is now at a point where he needs 24 hour care from a professional. My mother is burned out. She retired when dad had a stroke to take care of him. And it's done more damage to the relationship than 33 years of marriage could ever do. It does not help that they are perpetually harassed by the child demanding his dinner be delivered to him while he screams at teenagers over the internet. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Me, all my human siblings, all my human siblings. Okay. So I guess she's, she's saying this was this person is stupid. Yes. Uh, and my parents have been talking for months now about solutions at the beginning uh, of the month. We decided dad is going to going to a care center. Mom will sell the house uh, to move to a 55 plus community close to dad. And the man baby will hopefully find a box with an internet connection. <laughs> my mom and dad have always protected him. Uh, but my guess is the stroke finally woke them up to the reality of the situation. Yeah, it sucks. And they are to blame for allowing him to get to this point, but there comes a time to cut your losses and admit you messed up and moved on. It's a shame all of the man, babies, siblings, including myself, hate his guts. Uh, none of us care what happens to him. And it's interesting to say that out loud now that I think about it. I got I the... Feel... Per... Oh. oh, I'm Go sorry. Continue. Go ahead. I was just oh. saying, I feel like really bad for this family because that that's a mentality that's really hard to deal with. These people get stuck in this mode that that's what life is and going out to anything else, especially when they're that sheltered is like terrifying to them. Mm-hmm. They just don't know. Like my, my brother-in-law who's a great guy and I'm going to tell, I'm going to give this guy a lot of credit. He's really turned his life around, but this motherfucker wouldn't drive on the highway. <sighs> his mom had to like do everything for him when he was going to college. She had to like, like and now he's uh, you know, has a good job. He's very responsible. Owns a house. Figured his shit out. I give him a lot of credit. A lot of people who get in positions like that, that that codependency with their parents, can't figure out how to break out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 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 a tough one. So I got the privilege to be there yesterday when he got the news. Mom's going to be moving in with sis till her house sells. Dad's going to the care center next week, and movers will be clearing the place out starting pretty much now. He has a month. The eviction process is already rolling. The non-emergency line already knows that his that his temperamental and violent beh- uh, behavior, I guess, has been served and is ready to respond if he does something stupid. Oh, and the firefighter neighbor will be over in a few minutes if we need to put his ass in gear and on short notice. Uh, it's wonderful. His meltdown was legendary. He actually stomped his feet and screamed that it's not fair. Said he was going to sue us all. I'm going to sue you for making me move out at 31. Uh, screamed in an elderly man, elderly man's face, uh, saying he wants to kick his ass. He did, so the father with a stroke got yelled at and threatened by this piece of garbage. Uh, he demanded to know what we were going to do to help him find a place to live, how much money we were going to give him to make sure he didn't end up in the streets, asked what he's supposed to do about the fact he was saving his money to buy a new graphics card. <laughs> He somehow still, he still doesn't know, uh, does not understand exactly what is now fa- what he's now facing. He's now talking to mom. He's now not talking to mom or dad. He's locked himself in his room since last night and only comes out to use the restroom and take food from the pantry that will not be filling itself anymore. It's great as my brother is staying there. 
and working remotely to make sure he does not try anything uh, and to update me and my sister on the man baby's tantrum. I'm looking forward to next month. It will be reality television I've seen, the best reality television I've seen in a while. Is there an update to this? Please tell me. Uh, I'm going to check. I'm going to check. Uh, because that is very satisfying. Update. All right. Yes. Update. The man baby is finally facing the music. Hello again, everyone. I never expected the last post was going to be so popular. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so after where my original post left off, not much happened at first. The man baby sulked and gave my parents the silent treatment until both of them moved out of the house. Uh, he had a bit of a tantrum when he realized that my brother would not be buying groceries for him and he would gasp, have to spend his computer fund to feed himself. If he's not working. Where's he even getting money? Are they giving him an allowance? Is he collecting? Or maybe he's collecting something. Yeah. Uh, after mom uh, moved out, I think that's when it hit him that it, it was happening, that this was happening and no amount of sulking and bitching would stop the eviction date from coming any closer. He had a massive tantrum a few nights after mom moved out. He blew up the family group chat demanding uh, we help him find a place to live and give him money for a deposit. I responded with a gif of a laughing cat and my sister blocked his number. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he and our brother got into a fight, but I, but like I always thought he was too cowardly to do any to actually do anything and he sulked out of the room. Skipping every little petty childish thing he did over the month. He ended in he he in the end did find a place to actually live. He started to do Uber to make some cash, uh, while he claims to look for a job. We'll see how that turns out. Anyway, from what I understand, he now he he knows someone locally that he plays video games with, and the guy hooked him up with a cheap place to live. Good luck, buddy. Good luck getting rid of this squatter. Wow. Uh, and when I say cheap, I mean cheap. I ended up offering to help the man's baby uh, move to his new. The man baby, the man baby moved to his new place and got a firsthand look at the crack house he's now living in. He's living in a room above a garage in a three bedroom rundown crack house straight out of Compton. The place has fiber internet though, which, oh, was must, loving it. which was the must have feature for my brother. Apparently I didn't get a single thanks for helping him move and demanded. I buy him lunch after. Hey, mm. Hey Vinny, you ever, you ever move and you know, offer your friends pizza and beer to help you? certainly this guy does the opposite you can help me move and you can buy me lunch too yeah this guy sucks but i just want to know uh in the update did he get his graphics card uh let's see anyways we'll see how long this lasts the man baby still seems to insist on not getting an actual job and thinks if he begs me and my family for money uh, he'll get by he apparently has already nearly depleted his graphics card fund and is now blowing my mom is now blowing my mom up oh <laughs> blowing my mom up yeah uh, asking for a thousand dollars. So it seems to be going well for him. He did ask for me for money when I was helping him to move. And I told him that McDonald's is always hiring. He scoffed and told me he was too good for that. I guess we'll see how long that lasts. Anyway, the man baby has left the building. Wow. wow. We're leaving it on a happy ending today, folks. Yes. That is a satisfying closure on that one. I actually feel good about it. This what? young man finally out there in the world bothering everybody else. Oof. And this family gets to live free and clear. You ever made anyone you ever know anyone like that, Vinny? Yes. You did, eh? Yeah. Hmm. I think everyone has uh I mean not to that uh that degree, but yeah, we've I think we've all had someone like that around. Well, around. I used to work for a non for profit agency that specialized in housing for folks who would generally kind of slip through the cracks. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have met many of these people who have literally no motivation to get themselves out of their situation, either in some cases because they were overly coddled their entire lives, mm -hmm. and in other cases, you know, some other issues. But uh, the ones with the moms and the dads who are like looking to find their kid a place to stay and they're like in their 50s and they're going into a nursing home, it's some of the saddest shit you'll ever see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, 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 and I can get, the the no motivation i can get the you know not wanting to work not wanting to do anything on your own okay fine but it's the entitlement that drives me nuts yeah right like at least like i've known people that have lived with their parents their their entire life have never really done anything other than li live with their parents they don't work they've never done anything fine but at least you see them participating 
right? Like they're not, yeah. they're, they're a burden financially. Sure. But they're not, a. they don't, they don't become an extra burden. <laughs> At least do that. If you're going to be a, a man, baby, at least yeah. help out. Wash a dish, I guess is what I'm saying. Make your own dinner. Well, Make they mom out, dinner once in a while. <laughs> the, the problem is the human condition is whatever the path of least resistance is going to be. And they'll be in there. They'll be there living with mom and dad and just figure out what the absolute bare minimum they have to do to get them to not throw them the fuck out. And they'll do that for decades. I guess. I guess. It's, it's, it's fucked to have like no type of motivation want to get out there and improve your station life is is a really sad thing and unfortunately it's very prevalent uh thank you for watching subreddit this, 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 this is the problem this is the problem with overturning roe versus wade 90th trimester abortions are no longer allowed so bring it back we need more abortions yes but all Carter, the way up to 40 years old i'm picking the subreddit for wednesday yes yes you i don't want any more of the, these boring uh people complaining about their live sites all of our lives suck. We all got problems, people. Yes. Thank you to our guest, uh, Tuki, Dookie. I want uh, a freak show on Wednesday, Cardiff. Yes. Go for it, Vinny. It's all you. It's all, it's all you. Uh, Dookie is doing a live stream right now. I'll probably be jumping over there and saying hi in a bit. So uh, come see us over there. Vinny, what have we done to know? How do we end the show? Uh Aloha. Thank you for supporting the channel. We appreciate that. All to all of our members out there. Thank you for everybody who joined us on a Saturday morning. We'll be back Wednesday night. Remember, hit subscribe, leave a review wherever you listen to this, and uh, tell your friends. We appreciate your support. And if you want to send us uh, recommendations, if you want to send me a real freak show for Wednesday, yes. email me, subredditsurfing at gmail.com. Let me know where I'm looking. Send me some, some fun stuff, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Cardiff, let's end it. What do we do? Tell the people. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you to the members, the big kahunas. Enjoy your bigger penises. And uh, surf's up, Vinny. Surf's up, Cardiff. See you next time, folks. Good luck.